when people walk into an arena, we want them to say, wow, I can't believe this. I can't imagine what can take place in this space. One of the early decisions we made in creating Ringling was to create a 360 degree environment, creating the space as the ultimate playground. We always wanted the set design and the whole space to feel very fun. This idea of tipping the toy box up and it feeling like there's always more to discover and that things also have a transformative quality. So ramps detach and reconfigure. We have stair units that move out and become performance spaces. Our center stage comes to life with video content, with a turntable and a lift, and all these different elements open up and create unexpected moments and performance areas. And technology is also something that plays a big part in every aspect of the show. Having this incredible central screen that surrounds our center stage that just allows our whole show to become really vibrant and really dynamic. Part of the technology that we're using in Ringling is a robotic dog, Bailey. And she is a true comedian in her own right. She's got some great moments with Nick Knack that are gonna make everybody smile. Everything that we do with the technology is to enhance the experience for the audience to get a better understanding of what it takes to be a member of the Greatest Show on Earth. And music was also a device that we use to really shape people's emotional journey. So we really allow our audience to go on a journey and experience all this different culture and all this different music while seeing these amazing visual spectacles. And it was really important to us that aria was the melody and sticks was the rhythm because everyone can relate to that. We want audiences to come here to feel something. Every single performance in this show has been reimagined with an eye towards today's audience and what their expectations are and what can we do to make the greatest show on earth in this incredible 3D environment.